Tutorial 41 in Inventor for Beginners. In the previous tutorial, we talked about all the sketch or 2D sketching tools and which will be required in our lessons and tutorials to learn Inventor. And now we are back to the 3D model tools. In the previous tutorial, we ended on the rib, and now we're going to talk about coil. So to start working with the coil, you need to measure things. You need a circle to define the coil radius and you need an axis where you want your coil to be directed. So let's start with making a 2D sketch, making a circle. As we learned in these 2D sketching tools. And let's finish and make an axis to be on the plane perpendicular to this circle. So let's make an align axis line to be the, the direction of our coil or spring. So now let's activate the coil and here you see SOLIDWORKS already selected the profile and in the axis you can select this mid axis click OK and now we have our coil so it is not seen here but if you hover over this cylinder you can see the coil here in SOLIDWORKS there are a different method creating coil and I guess it is quite better than the way in here but let's learn about the coil now let's if you want to edit the coil you can double click again here you can specify the type of coil size which revolution revolution and you should be familiar with these names pitch can be 10 millimeter let's make it uh, 2 millimeter and let's make five revolutions click OK so now you notice you have this coil if you hover and this again here you can reverse the direction and coil end if you want to be flat ending or or whatever is not working in this case but you know the coil ends they are here you can choose them okay so now you have your coil inserted and you can using it as a path and working with it if it is necessary so i'm going to show you how to make a work with this coil path you can see this starting point in here so let's make a sketch matching that point so let's find the planes here so that plane should be laying on the starting point of this coil let's create a sketch in here make a circle make it smaller let's okay. move to the edge of this coil finish and let's sweep cut that before I selected the path you can notice you can hover and select it so now you have your coil or spring shown in front of you. Click OK. So now you see that you created or worked with the created coil path. 